It's time we were both free. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Gotta tear his brain out. Gotta no tear his brain out. It's the only way to get the nanomachines out, I guess. It's the only way. Final boss! Finally! Sword fight! It's actually pretty fun. It's pretty uh, good at kicking and blocking. It looks like Killer Instinct. <laughs> Which I wish they would make another game. Yeah. But they won't. Nope. So he's pretty much open when he does any tentacle stuff, or if he does any, like, slow charge-up attack. If you just try to get him right after a sword slash, he'll probably block it. it it's just a really, really slow-moving fighting game. Yeah. Like, I, I want you to do some combos. It's not Throw much a Hadouken! With combos, you can get him usually... Uh, <laughs> yes, R run at him like a nerd. Good yeah. job. Usually you can get him three times once he's open, unless he does something like that. There you go. And then ridiculous tentacle missiles. And you can fall out. Raiden, up. use the shore you can. Whoa. You can get knocked off the ledge. You don't instantly die, you can still get back up, but if... Uh, I do believe if you stay there for too long, he can knock you off while you're hanging there. Charge up your special bar and unleash a combo attack. I wish there was a special bar, but there's not. There's no special bar. He's just, he's just swinging and him doing some very impressive dodging there. I forgot to mention, my brother is a limbo master. <laughs> That's how they decide primary elections in the future of Metal Gear. Aside from expositioning. <laughs> but really, the Patriots... If it was all exposition, then we would have President Ocelot by now. Yeah. And every time there's like a say of the Union, it'd just be him going, I tricked all of you, America! <laughs> I tricked you into thinking that I tricked you! And then I tricked you again! I bet you didn't see that one coming. Even I don't know how many times you've been tricked. I got a trick diary. I tricked myself into tricking me to trick you. <laughs> to trick me to trick the Patriots. I can't do anything without tricking. I can't even ask for pepper without tricking them into giving me the pepper. <laughs> oh, good. This fight has been kind of boring to watch so far. It gets interesting when I lose the things that make me special. <laughs> oh. Now he goes a lot faster, but first the Patriots call us. Right, you have to beat Solidus. This is your last duty. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. We're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it! I'm not a weapon! Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. 
Just pawns in a game, exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. The music for that fight's pretty sweet, I think. So why is... Oh, okay. I, I just remembered. Raiden is fighting so they don't kill Olga's baby or the real Rose. Yeah. Though he has no reason at all to trust them. No, not really. Or even believe that there is an Olga baby or a real Rose. <laughs> yeah. Those are some pretty big assumptions. <laughs> well, he's met Rose before. It's not like she's just zeros and ones. This is an indigo prophecy. It's one step better than that, I think. I think. Uh, I would not put it past them. You, at least you don't fight the internet, okay? She she was a hologram like the doctor in Voyager. <laughs> oh, Voyager. The doctor was the best part of Voyager. Everyone agrees. Mm -hmm. Just being a doctor in Voyager made everything good. It made Andy Dick good, alright? <laughs> I want rocket skates. Why didn't Fat Man have those? Because he's. Something about he can drink, Fat Man. Like, whole bottles of wine out of a straw, yet rocket skates. <laughs> yeah, just imagine Fat Man just shooting along with rocket skates while chugging. Let's go. And, <laughs> like, an entire so bottle of wine. You have one of those, like, beer helmets, but with two bottles of wine? <laughs> yeah. And the beer helmet would have Kevlar on it. It'd be a bomb beer helmet. It would explode on death. A bomb helmet! I kill my soul through alcoholism! No, I just blew up a whole bunch of children. Sorry. What if that church was the same one where Vamp was blown up and got his vampire? Oh body? my god! Yeah, I felt like they were gonna do that, but they don't ever really. Like, everything in Metal Gear is pretty much heavily connected with everything. Everybody's related somehow, so...
quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No. Never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name. And my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word. Even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. What's 
wrong? Nothing. Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. See me for what I am, okay? I know. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Hmm? Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry. Passion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears. in real life he seems like a chill dude oh god there's a lot of voices for the seals they don't seem to talk that much and then the guy who went murf is scott dolph <laughs> scott dolph both character and voice yeah it's a it's a video Maybe game it's all fukushima's fault we should blame him. Justification, yeah. All those guys under justification. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good story. I like this. <laughs> Pass so, it on through. This is the end, but it's not the end end. There's still other bonusy stuff to go yeah, through, including um, Snake Tales and more document. And yep. LP's still going, but the game, thankfully, isn't. Yeah, there no more... No more normal no more. cut scenes. No more. no more normal cut scenes. Maybe other cut scenes, but not from the game. Ooh. You intrigue me, sir. I'm burping a lot. <laughs> Which also intrigues me, sir. Whoa. Character part. <laughs> no, there's the character part and the background part. Oh. See? Yeah. Comes in parts. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense! I miss the good old days of game design. Back when 3D was just a pipe dream. And when you read the credits, everybody translated their names into something ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But no, now it's just their real names. And that's they had boring. Terrible, terrible pseudonyms. Oh. 
Like, Kazunobu, that's boring. It is. You the can't ca- say anything about Makoto Sonoyama. It could be like Other than, hey, he's a pretty cool programmer. Things work smoothly and the problems weren't his fault. Uh, <laughs> Some nice stock footage that they shot, so it's not really stock footage. It's in a stock somewhere now. I shot footage like this, but it was downtown Flint, so it's a lot less pretty. Oh, come like, on, they have giant week. LCD screens like that all over the place. Uh, the only giant the LCD screen... full of people, and The only Times giant Square LCD is in screen Flint. I got was um, Walgreens, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had nothing to do, and I had a camera. You really are Japanese, aren't you? No. You are a Japanese man. No. It explains why you're short. Nope. Look at that crotch shot. He's got his hand out like, don't go away, don't look. Fortune and George Washington have one thing in common. The game directors is obsessed with their crotch. Yep. What's this about warm hugs? I'd like a warm hug. Uh, I don't know. Yep, there's more credits. These are some long... After those credits, let's give you a breather. Then more credits. Jump right back into the credits! Additional rhythm loop. Thanks, guy, for making that single rhythm loop. It's probably an intern. So, to sum everything up, not as good as Metal Gear Solid 3. But better than a lot of games. Better than a lot of games. Could have been really good if, you know, I had more time. Like, of course, a lot of games are sold for like five bucks. Or free. (laughs) Made by one guy. Yeah. Like, I, I wish... The... The Ray fight would have been the one, the original one, where they were going to have you and all of Galukovic's soldiers fighting against two Rays. A lot of the original version sounds like a, a lot, lot better. I want to yeah. swim around sharks. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, you're supposed to have a great white shark as a boss fight. Oh, awesome. you know what the original bo- the final boss fight was supposed to be? Lay it, supposed, on me. it was supposed to be in the streets of Manhattan, and it was you and Snake fighting against Solidus and Ocelot, while a whole bunch of other people were freaking out. Like, that, that would have been be way better. Best thing. That would have been Actually, awesome. Actually, the, the one problem I had with that list of cut ideas that never really made it to implementation even was that the places would be littered with the dead bodies of the hostages. Mm-hmm. Just because Otacon couldn't take too much more after that. He, he had to <laughs> yeah. do something right. So yeah. the hostages just have to survive. <laughs> and, uh, that poor guy. It'd be fil- if it was filled with the bodies of dead soldiers that are making yeah. the sharks go crazy, it'd be perfect. But let the hostages And survive. if there was underwater fighting, I'm sure there would have been a harpoon gun of sorts. Oh, it'd be just like, uh, Thunderball. Yeah. Yes. Metal Gear Ghost Babble poster. Mm Mm-hmm. So Metal Gear Ghost Babble is a game within the Metal Gear Solid franchise, which is still tied into the canon of the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Yeah. So Metal Gear exists in a world where (laughs) it is itself a game. Yep. It all makes sense now.
Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Snake! You there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh... About a hundred years ago. What the hell? Whoa. Mind blown. Again. But if you watch Metal Gear Solid 3, then you know what that's all about. <laughs> Fifteen <laughs> continues. Ten of them were me killing myself on purpose to retry something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that time I told you to jump off the bridge. Yeah. And the other time I jumped off the bridge, I got Mammoth is my rank. You can also punch in the Konami code here and Snake will yell at you in a second. What do you think you're doing? Eh. I'm trying to give you the bro shake. More lockables later. But that's the end for now, so see ya later while I save stuff on my memory card on a PS2 that has the date set wrong. Sayonara. Stay frosty. <laughs>